everybody. Welcome to Pet Talk on our brand new home on 612, where you can watch us 24-7, no commercials, all Pet Talk all the time. We're celebrating Veterans Day and dedicating today's show to all of our human and furry friends who risk their lives to defend us every single day. So this one's for you. Older and winter approaches, you need to be prepared, and so does your pet. Here with some wonderful suggestions. Please welcome back Carol and her beautiful little baby, Dexter. Carol is PR manager of Blog Paws, a wonderful blog with so much information and uh, really just about all things furry and uh, just love following you. And where can folks follow you? I want to get that right off the bat. Absolutely. Thanks for having us back. I'm at blogpaws.com. We're having a huge conference in May in Virginia. Everyone's invited if you love pets, and they can find me at blogpaws.com. And it's sort of a magazine. It's not just sort of a blog where you uh, write articles. You get input from people oh, and suggestions. And yes, and we all come together once a year for this huge conference. Dog lovers, cat lovers, rabbit lovers, anybody who loves a pet, you, you come to this conference and you can celebrate and, and with other people who are just like you at Blog Paws every year. And it's nice because then you can follow you on Blog Paws yes. uh, as the conference comes and during the year and, and see what's going on in the dog world. And of course, Dexter likes it. And I know that uh, you are planning a wedding uh, with <laughs> Dexter, which we'll actually be covering on Pet Talk. He is. He just found out he's getting hitched, and so he's counting his days. <laughs> he's counting down. And I think we're going to do that in the summer, so uh, that's something for everybody to look forward to. And now we're going to uh, have something, from, because you always bring us the most wonderful products and uh, we want to uh, prepare folks for the winter and uh, this is something very exciting and this is something we really all need especially when it gets so dirty in the winter yes this is from Bissell and it is the total floors pet vacuum specifically designed to get all of those cracks and crevices any kind of pet hair that you have around your house what I really like about it there are specific features that you know this is for today's modern pet parent there's no bags. Love that. So that when I scoop up all of Dexter's pet hair, I'm dumping that right in my garbage can. I love the onboard attachments, which are specifically designed to pick up pet hair, and they ride right on board with it. Bissell's kept in mind the fact that you might want to do this on hardwood floors, so there are different settings, and the brush lifts up at the base, so that if you're putting this on your hardwood floor, you can get all those nooks and crannies, pick up all that pet hair that seems to gather in my house everywhere but where I, you know, really want it to be, which is on the dog. And um, it does such a nice job edging the onboard attachments, like I said, and it's under $130. So it's one of those gifts you give to someone who's a pet lover and they thank them. Now, what is that you have, Carol? That seems to be very important, too. This is something I like to say home for the holidays, which is where we all want our pets to be. And this is from Tag the Pet Tracker. This will make sure that should your dog we never want this to happen, go missing. This is GPS, the same technology that is used for cars. This is what we're using on our pets, as Dexter is showcasing. It clips right onto your dog or cat's collar, and you make sure that it's charged. It comes with a rechargeable base, which generally holds a charge for about 30 days. And should your dog, say, go to a, a part you know, of, of the, the yard or outside his perimeter that you don't want him to be, the GPS system on the collar is going to alert you with an email or a text and literally follow your dog no matter where he's going. So if Fido goes missing down the street, you're getting a clear-cut path of where he is, being able to return him safely back home. And what's kind of cool also is that if your dog is somewhere with a, a dog walker, you could tell exactly where that dog walker took your dog. So you know he's getting his proper exercise. So this is something you buy a subscription to. It goes for about $8 a month, but you're buying peace of mind. So, Carol, now I am holding some really uh, interesting-looking treats. Yes, I'm all about it has to be natural, it has to be something that's good for my dog. And these are freeze-dried, fresh mm. treats. They're from Whole Life Pet. They're made in the United States, so we love that. And in 10 different flavors, you could give your dog what's freeze-dried. It maintains its nutrients that way. It's nothing that's going to be chemicals or preservatives, nothing added. It keeps for a year if you keep them with the bag sealed in a cool, dark place. Flavors like cheddar cheese, lamb, uh, pure cod, and there's also a complete variety for kitties, too. So these are the kind of things that when I really want my dog to do something for me, if I break out the whole life, he knows that the good stuff is coming. Now, you look like a miner, Carol. <laughs> it looks like you're going into the coal mine. What, what's that? I'm actually going on a nighttime dog walk with my Tom Bin Citizen Canine Bag. Love this. This is for dog parents when you're taking your dog out. This is one of those bags that covertly has a little bit of everything. In the front, if you're going out at night, has this really cool light so it's leading your way. 
You don't have to worry about losing your house key or your cell phone because there's a nice zipper compartment in the front. There's a nice little pouch, which you could put Fido's treats in or a tennis ball, which is generally my dog's motivator. And what's even double cool is if you turn it around to the back, there is a waste bag dispenser, and the roll is right inside, and it fits any size waste bags. So as you're walking Fido along, you're able to have your bag. It can clip around your waist. You can use it on your shoulder, and it looks really cute. So this is something that friends, don't listen to this, but you'll be getting in your stocking for Christmas this year because I know this is one of those pet parent must-haves from Tom Bin. That is awesome. I love that. Now, what is this, Carol? Is this a different sort of harness here I have? It is. My dog used to be a puller, and until I found the walk-in sink harness system, he really would pull me down the street. This goes over Fido's head, and instead of being something that wraps around his throat and can therefore cause tracheal damage or any sort of problems when your dog pulls on a walk, there's a D-ring that lays nicely right on the chest area of the dog. You latch the leash onto that, and therefore, if you're walking your dog and he's pulling, he's going to feel that little bit of a pulling mechanism as he's you know, trying to propel you forward. And he's going to know, you know, I don't really want to do that. And he's going to halt in place. There's no pressure put on his throat. Your dog's not going to have any problems yanking you down the street. And it's just a very humane way that Alicia Evans, who is the inventor of this product, she came up with this because she was so tired as a trainer seeing so many dogs come in injured. And it's just a nice way to humanely train your dog. I love the fact that it comes in a size from everything to a Yorkie up to a Great Dane and a variety of colors, too. Do you have a natural balance? I do. Dexter, my dog, was fortunate to meet Tillman, the skateboarding dog, this year at the Blog Paws Conference. And that's when the folks told me about their new line. And this is from Natural Balance. It's actual really cool vegetables like pumpkin and papaya mixed in with meats. And what I like about it is just this little container that it comes in made in the USA and it really looks good so that when you're putting it in your bowl it doesn't look like uh, dog food to be honest it's the kind of thing that um, when you give it to your dog you're you're happy feeding because you know that they're getting something really good and there's a variety for cats also what's fun about it perfect paella originally scampi so there's these really cute names that natural balance came up with but even better your dog is going to feel good eating the food because it's high quality on my lap we have a dry food because a lot of dogs prefer the dry food or they like both uh, what's this about this seems natural as well it is this is from bogo bowl and that's buy one give one so for every bag of food which is rated four star by dogfoodadvisor.com of bogo bowl food they will equally match that same bag to any shelter across the country. Wow. So you buy a bag of food for your dog, and at no additional cost, with free shipping included, they will ship a bag to the shelter down the street, a shelter across town, and you know you're feeding a dog and therefore increasing his or her chances of getting their forever home. So you're getting a good meal for your dog, and it comes in seven varieties. I like this one for Dexter, salmon meal and rice, because he's a really big fish lover. But you can look at BogoBowl.com and find seven different varieties and help pets in your neighborhood. Fantastic. I love that. Now, what is that on the floor, Carol? We're finding out that 50% of dogs in this country are obese. Wow. And it's li quite literally an epidemic. And so the folks from Dog Pacer came out with a treadmill for dogs so that as the winter season is approaching, you want to get your dog outside. You're working long days at work. Maybe it's snowy or rainy when you come home. This is a nice alternative to make sure that your dog is getting the exercise he or she needs in the winter months. And it's also something that he can use and have fun doing. <laughs> so as our model shows us here, uh, this, this is for dogs 55 pounds and under. It's a very sturdy build. And it's the kind of thing that you're going to be able to work your dog out. Dogs generally learn, from what I'm told by the manufacturers, anywhere between two minutes and two weeks. So if your dog's a runner and they're already used to that sort of thing, you could start slow, four different inclines, and this mini pacer really is a smart idea for someone who, they're a dog lover, you know they need to exercise their pet in the winter, why not give them a dog pacer for a Christmas idea? And it stores nicely too. Quite weighty, but very useful, and as you can tell, our model dog thinks it's quite <laughs> yeah, fun. Yeah. Waggy, waggy tail. I think this would be nice, especially as we're talking about the winter, uh, because sometimes it's tough to get out, especially when it's icy. So, Carol, now where can folks find these products, and where can they follow you? We can go to blogpaws.com. I'll have a complete listing of where you can find these. Give these to the dog lover and the dog in your life. 
And again, come visit us at blogpost.com. We'd love to see people at the conference as well. Now, finally, before you go, because, Carol, I know you are very big into Cocker Spaniel Rescue. We yes. have a very special guest here with his foster mom looking for a home. Who is this? This is Jagger, and he's here with his foster mom, Nancy, who took him in from Life's Little Paws. Jagger is between three and five years old, and he's looking for his forever home. He was in a very high kill shelter. Uh. He's blind, but he sees with his heart. He loves people. He loves dogs. And he's just looking for his forever home. And right now he's looking for a treat. Uh -huh. And he's been playing with my dog all morning. And I can definitely tell you he's definitely a people and a dog kind of cocker. Well, he is adorable. If somebody wants to adopt him, and we sure hope they will, where can they contact you? They would go to lifeslittlepaws.com. And you want to look up Jagger. And we'll make sure you get you in touch with this cute little guy. He's adorable. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for fostering him. Uh, he is really precious, and we hope somebody will find it in their hearts to give him a beautiful home. Thank you, Carol. Uh, now